We all know about the pyramids of Egypt in Northern Africa, the Mayan and Aztec pyramids in South America, and some of you might even know about the pyramids in Sudan. But what if I told you that China has one of the biggest collections of ancient pyramids in the entire world? Located just outside of the city of Xi'an in China's Shanxi province are hundreds of pyramids dating back thousands of years old. Chinese lore says the pyramids were built by Tianzi emperors or the Sons of Heaven, a lineage who descended to the earth on fiery metal dragons. The Chinese pyramids were relatively unknown to the Western world until 1912, when American traveler Fred Meyer Schroeder and Oscar Mammon documented them. The second sighting was even more bizarre. In 1945, during the World War II, American pilot James Gossman was flying a route from China to India when one large pyramidal structure caught his eye. Gossman was astonished to see a pyramid reaching about 300 meters high, and I quote, it was pure white on all sides, he said. The remarkable thing was the capstone, a huge piece of jewel-like material that could have been crystal. There was no way we could have landed, although we wanted to. We were struck by the immensity of the thing. Two years later, Colonel Maurice Sheehan, the Far Eastern Director of Trans World Airline, reports the same experiment. This time, the New York Times runs his story with the following picture, and the world is fascinated with what could be one of the biggest finds in archaeological history. This became known as the Great White Pyramid, and would be twice the size of the Great Pyramids of Giza. The only problem is, it has never been found. Fast forward half a century, and the answer is definitely clearer, but not crystal. The Chinese leaders did a great job at hiding these structures for millennia, but now with satellite images, we can only assume that this massive white pyramid was simply a lie. Don't get me wrong, China is more than happy to stay in the shadows when it comes to sharing information outside their borders, but this alleged amazing construction is impossible to hide. One of the explanations for this sighting could be the misidentification of one of the biggest pyramids in China, the mausoleum of the first Qin Emperor. But this pyramid is not white, it has a flat top and it does not correlate with the reported location, so the debate is still open. When it comes to the other pyramids, the Chinese Communist Party strictly prohibited and denied access to these monuments for years now, and any contact from the West is immediately refused. But why? Well, there has always been two sides to one story. For one, the Chinese government says the technology just doesn't exist yet to excavate the pyramids without damaging its contents. A lot of information was lost when excavating the sites in Egypt, for example. The rush excavation and poor techniques of the 1930s greatly damaged the tomb of King Tut, and the information lost is incalculable. Why the government deliberately covers the pyramids, however, is something completely different. Chinese culture's strong veneration of tradition could mean that they simply wish to leave their royalty at peace, which means we will have no choice but to watch them recede back into the earth with their secrets, until someone decides otherwise. On the other hand, some scholars argue that the reason why the CCP is hiding these great structures is due to fear. Fear of what they will encounter. China has the world's greatest irreligious population, and the Chinese government and the ruling Chinese Communist Party is officially atheist. Some believe that the ancient history of China is not what the history books portray, but in fact, all of it needs to be rewritten. As most empires do, they come, they see, and they conquer, but those are just the first steps. To prevent the native people from revolting, you have to give them your culture, your religion, your language, and the most efficient way to do that is to delete their past and erase the ancient cultures. Some historians claim that much like the Egyptian pyramids, these structures are older than what we think, and are only being reused as tombs for modern emperors. One evidence to correlate that is the recent discovery of a completely new civilization by the name of Kingdom of Shu. This mysterious civilization was simply unknown up until the discovery of the San Qingdui ruins that uncovered stunning relics including a gold mask, bronze statues and ivory carvings, but more on that in a later video. I normally don't ask for this, but if you could subscribe or at least leave a like in this video, it would really help the channel as we are about to hit 1000 subscribers. Now back to the video. 
The Chinese pyramids are built of mud bricks and today are covered in grass and trees, but the techniques used to construct them are still unknown. To this day, the pyramids remain largely unexplored, at least to the Western knowledge, but in 2000, Chinese officials stated there were roughly 40 mirrors just around Xi'an. Like others around the world, the Chinese pyramids are also accurately aligned, with each corner locked into the planet's cardinal directions. Astronomically, they are just off from perfect alignment with the Gemini constellation, as it would have coordinated perfectly on the spring equinox thousands of years prior. This 14 degree discrepancy can be accounted for by the Earth's axial precession with the way the planet wobbles on its axis, completing a full rotation every 25,700 years. Not only that, but in March of 1974, the world got a peak of a truly next-level discovery. Two farmers were digging just outside of Qihen when they discovered the famous terracotta army of China's first emperor, King Xingguan. There were legends he had been buried inside a veritable mini-city with palaces, carriages, treasures and anything else he would need in the afterlife. And through luck or fate, these farmers hit the jackpot. The site is so massive, researchers are going to be digging there for centuries, told archaeologist Christian Romy to Life Science in 2012. You see, the emperor himself hasn't been discovered yet, or if he has, officials are too afraid to go near him. Legend also tells of the emperor being surrounded by a tunnel of 100 man-made, mercury-filled rivers and those who knew where the tomb was were killed to keep it a secret during its construction and long after. Hence the ghostly soldier army. This is not a place that wants visitors. So in matters of understanding these pyramid mausoleums, Emperor Kings is just a tip of the iceberg. Some of the pyramid sites, like the Hanyang Ling Mausoleum, have been open for tourism, but no one is unearthing them anytime in the near future. This region, in essence, is China's versions of both Egypt's Giza and the Valley of the Kings in one particularly because there is a huge amount of royalty rumored to be beneath the surface that no one has disturbed. As you can see, the mystery surrounding this region is astonishing, but don't forget, when we talk about China, we are only talking about the information that has been made available to us by a rather tight-lipped Chinese government, so don't expect to know a lot more anytime soon. If you enjoy content like this, make sure to watch my video on the lost Aztec capital, a city that Spanish explorer and conquistador Bernal Diaz said to be bigger than Constantinople and prettier than Venice. I hope you enjoyed the video and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Leave a like if you learned something new and I'll see you in the next one. Obrigado.